Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in and checking out my video. Now this video is gonna be talking about two up and coming fighters throwing down this weekend. Gonna be a very interesting fight and definitely one you wanna tune into. Now this matchup I'm speaking about will be between Carl Dargan versus Tony Lewis. And it's gonna be a very interesting fight. You got one fighter who's an extremely exciting fighter in Tony Lewis, and you got Carl Dargan who's more of a defensive fighter and a slick type fighter. Now let me first start off with Carl Dargan. He is known to some people in the boxing world for sparring with Canelo Alvarez for his fight with Floyd Mayweather and being the only sparring partner to make it out of the camp. Um, and also when I look at Carl Dargan, he's an undefeated fighter from Philadelphia, schooled under Nassim Richardson, who is his trainer. Nassim Richardson, of course, works with Bernard Hopkins, Steve Cunningham, or some of the fighters that he has. Well-respected trainer, also worked with Shane Mosley. And when I look at Carl Dargan, like I was saying earlier, defensively sound, he's got good head movement, he's slick, nice jab, good right hand, and he's a very well-schooled, accurate puncher. Now, when I look at Tony Lewis in this matchup, Tony Lewis is a guy who's a highly exciting fighter. He's got actually underrated power, I believe. Um, if you watch the Ivan Redcatch fight, Redcatch was a guy who had a ton of amateur fights and really was supposed to be boxing's new star. And to be honest with you guys, they brought in Tony Lewis to be a stepping stone for him. But if you go back and watch that fight, which was two fights ago for Tony Lewis, he um, looked really outstanding in that fight. He came into that matchup, like I said, a huge underdog, but he gained the respect early of Ivan Redcatch in that fight where he actually dropped him. The referee should have called it a knockdown. He did not do that. And throughout that fight, Tony Lewis rocked Ivan Redcatch multiple times and also backed him up. It was doing some nice work on the inside, but honestly, the referee did not let Tony Lewis work at all in that fight. The referee really blew that fight for me. He didn't do a good job at all, and it really took away from Tony Lewis's performance because he was pushing Red Catch back, who was supposed to be the huge puncher, and he's supposed to knock out Lewis early in the fight. But Lewis really came out and was aggressive and landed some nice blows and was backing him up. And had the referee been a better ref, it would have been a much closer fight. It was a close fight as well. If you look at the scorecards of that fight, it looked like Ivan Redcatch dominated, which was not the case at all. It was a close fight and would have been even closer had the referee been better at his job. And what I saw from that fight was Lewis is very composed. He didn't get flustered, uh, even though the referee was terrible in that matchup, and some fighters might lose their focus. Also, Tony Lewis, when I look at his skill set overall, he's a very active fighter, highly conditioned athlete who can go the 12 rounds and keep up a pace throughout. I really like his work to the body, and he'll set up some shots up top and then come downstairs with that, one of his best punches, which I believe would be his left hook to the body. So very tough guy um, out of Cornwall, Ontario, Canada. He's trained by his father, who is a very good trainer as well. And uh, Tony Lewis also sparred with Rigandau, who in my opinion is the best fighter in the sport of boxing. And those rounds with him should definitely help him in this fight. Because the style of Carl Dargan is he's slick and defensive, but nowhere near Rigandau, who I believe to best be the most skilled boxer in the sport right now. And also, Tony Lewis recently sparred with Custio Clayton, a Canadian standout in the amateurs, and got fourth place at the Olympics, who was robbed. So he's a highly entertaining fighter, Custio Clayton, and very good work. Him and Tony Lewis probably got in. Um, so this fight, really what it's going to come down to is who can implement their game plan better. I believe Tony Lewis is going to want to get on the inside of Carl Dargan and cut off the ring on him and smother him, which I believe he can do. And Carl Dargan is going to want to keep this on the outside and move around and do his usual fight, kind of pick his shots, and really keep it at his pace. I'm actually going to go with Tony Lewis on the upset for this fight. Um... I believe that Lewis will be able to get inside, and the Carl Dargan will not be able to keep him off. Red Catch had much bigger power, also a bigger fighter than Carl Dargan was, so I believe Lewis will be able to work on the inside. Going to be a very tough fight, but one that's going to be very interesting, and it's going to be a chess match between a really defensive fighter and a guy who will work on the inside, but mind you, is also very technical as well in Tony Lewis. So this is going to be an entertaining fight, guys. You don't want to miss this. Give me your prediction on this fight, everyone. If you're not familiar with these guys, I definitely think you should look up some tape. It's going to be a good matchup. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in and checking out.